You are a function of this total galaxy. The real deep down you is the whole universe. And it's doing your living organism and all its behavior. It's expressing it as a singer sings a song. Well, good morning. Morning, morning, morning. <clears throat> morning, man. It is a good morning. It's another day. It is... What today is? Today is Tuesday. Couple of more days to payday. I picked up my load late yesterday and I shut it down at about maybe about 10 o'clock last night because I didn't want to uh I didn't want to drive overnight I was like tired man I'm talking I'm talking tired well luckily I didn't start my clock at the at the at the first delivery but when I went over to the shipper I got there at the shipper at like I don't know a little bit after little bit after 11 and they didn't they didn't get me loaded until like three i went on here and drove about an extra extra four or five hours i'm here at this uh ta outside of indy i'm on my way to ohio i should be there in about uh, about three hours Let's get this vlog started and this day started. All right. All right, guys. 10 hour is up. It is time to go. It's time to get out here on these roads and make this money. If the wheels ain't turning, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't making no money right now. I just had to stand still. But you know, I gotta come out here. I had to come out here to do my pre-trip. Unfortunately, I can't do it right there. Y'all see all that water right there? Y'all see that right there? That's water. So I can't mess with that. Already did my pre-trip this morning, you know, before I got the camera out. So you guys gotta understand that doing the pre-trip, post-trip, important stuff to a truck. You don't wanna get, you don't wanna get pulled into the um, DLT inspection and get effed up. Now, I already know a couple of stuff that the DOT does that we don't. You gotta use your sight and your hearing. You know what I'm saying? When you do your pre-trip because you don't wanna hear no air leaks. Definitely don't wanna hear that. That's a bad thing right there. You wanna make sure that your tires is on point, your wires is on point, all the lights is on point. You wanna make sure that your fifth wheel is connected. Well, you should all, you should have known that before you even left wherever you pick the trailer up at. Be sure that your windshield wipers working and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's pre-tripping. I know you veteran guys already know that. Y'all y'all like, what the hell lockout men talking about? Come on, man. To the guys, to the drivers that's up in the far northeast, I, I hear y'all getting it bad up there real bad. New York and surrounding states were gearing up for a second winter storm within a week on Wednesday with less wind but more snow predicted this time around as thousands remain without power from the last nor'easter. Between 6 and 12 inches of snow are forecast for New York City and the surrounding suburbs in New Jersey and Connecticut. So I'm, I'm hoping and praying that you guys is alright. Make sure y'all have safe travels. Let's go ahead and Hop back in the truck because number one, it's cold. Number two, I gotta get going. You know, I love talking to you guys. Yes, I do. I do love talking to you guys. But hey, I, I'm not making no money off of this YouTube thing. So I gotta hop back in my money maker and get going. All right, so I did a little bit of driving. You have six hours and 17 minutes of remaining drive time. Thank you, Qualcomm. So I looked at my fuel and uh, noticed that I was running a little low. I am over here 
at the uh, Loves right quick in Indiana. This is one of our uh, network uh, Loves that we can go and get fuel. Unfortunately, I can't fill up. I can only get like 50 gallons. I don't think I need to show you guys how to fuel a truck, right? Right? decide to stop and get me some fuel here at the Loves right quick about to fuel up I am also going to take me a shower clothes but fresh clothes on you know what I'm saying I feel so good right now it's always good to feel good when you come up out of the shower if you don't ever get a chance to get a shower in let me tell you guys let me tell you here's a secret get yourself some baby wipes hi guys today I'm gonna show you how to make your own baby wipes and it's really simple only a few ingredients first you're gonna need a tall container um, that will fit half of a paper towel roll. Then I used a bread knife to saw in half the paper towel roll and the ones I'm using are like the select a size so it'll make smaller wipes. Um, it really depends on you know what you want to use it for. Um, the thickness of the paper towel I guess would probably be important too if you want to use them. And baby wipe this body down you know what I'm saying? Get some baby wipes they do help because there's going to be some times and some places that you're not going to be able to get that all important shower in but until you do but when you do yeah it feels good but let me tell you something right quick before i go walk up into the hardy's right quick now normally i don't you know i i, I try not to buy food out of the restaurants or out of the truck stops i really do uh, and and just let me get a just let me get a hamburger and uh sourdough bread. Just a burger and what the bread. Want? Just a burger and the bread. That's it. Just meat and then? Yeah. Okay. Hamburger on sourdough bread. Um just let me get uh tomatoes and onions on it. And all I wanted was a burger and a bun. You know what I'm saying? Burger and a bun with a tomato and, you know, some onions. That shit came up to five fucking dollars and burger and a fucking bun. I could have got some ground fucking chuck for five damn dollars. <laughs> shit. And I could have made like four fucking burgers, you know? But still, though, it goes to show you how much fucking money that it, that, that you lose or that it takes out here being on the road. It ain't cheap. A burger, burger and a bun and a tomato. Oh, and they charged me 50 cent for a tomato. Shit. The same place I could've got the ground chuck, I could've got a whole tomato for 50 cent. I'm serious, look. I mean, that's all I got. I didn't get no fries. I didn't get no nothing to drink. Well, I got some tea, but look. I'm, I, I kid you not, all right? I, I don't understand why they waste all this shit. But that's it, look. Burger and a bun and a slice of fucking tomato. 
But I hear you guys talking. I hear you guys talking. So let's go. Let's 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 get up. Let's get out of here. Let's roll. It's time to go. What's up? Hey, it's good. All right, everybody. Made it here to Columbus. Uh, this the this this the delivery. Usually we will stop and go to the uh, go to the guardhouse, but unfortunately we won't go to the guardhouse. Wanna know why? Because we had to get up off the street. I mean, it was packed. It was packed, y'all. So. I'm about to drop the trailer right quick. Oh, you you want to watch me drop the trailer? I mean, it's it's boring. I might have to speed it up a little bit. told you it was boring y'all didn't believe me but y'all wanted to see it anyway so that's cool I'm glad you guys seen it that's that's what's up you know we we do more than just uh than just drive dropping hook bump docks you know you name it we do it Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Right? I'm ready. I got my paperwork. Paperwork's done. So yeah, we ready. You have seven hours and 28 minutes of remaining drive time. The next stop will be out in Wisconsin. So seven hours. I know five of those hours I will be in I'll be back in Illinois, so I'll probably shut down there. Get about eight hours back tonight, so I'm I'm real good on my uh on my recaps. So I'm I am totally awesome on the recaps. So I can't I, I I'm I'm good on the recaps. So I'm I'm driving all week. I am out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I am out here. I'm I'm not BSing. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not going home until close to the end of the month, so I might as well take advantage of all the cheese out here, right? Save it all up and see how much I made for the month. Yes, sir. We found the winner. Yes, sir. Clean and full. So I don't have to worry about going to get some fuel. And I don't have to worry about breaking out the, the broom. The next time you're going to see your boy is out in Columbus. Out in Napoleon, Ohio. At the Campbell Soup Pack. Let's go.
felt like. I, I can't even tell you what it felt like right now getting here. I mean, it's like when you get off the highway and you gotta go like a couple of miles down the 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 court the the county roads. Crazy man, crazy. Uh, I thought I was gonna have some time to drive tonight, but I had a change of plans moment. <laughs> yes, another change of plans moment. Instead of getting the load that I was on, hold on, there you go, that was going to Madison, Wisconsin, unfortunately, it got changed. I mean, I'm still coming out of, I'm still coming out of here. It's just that my new place where I'm going to is Toma, Wisconsin, down to the Walmart. But of course, I'm not going to make it there tonight. I'm probably going to go ahead and drive out the rest of the two hours, which is on my clock. Find somewhere shut down and get an early start. Well, not even an early start, probably a late start tomorrow and get there and drop it and go on to the next place. But that is it for this Lockout Men Travel Vlog Vlog Vlog. But that is it. You guys know what to do comment, like, subscribe if you like this video. And oh, Lockout Man makes the call to Will Tran. Check that out. Check that out if you hadn't already. All right? Guys, peace. Take it easy. Y'all stay blessed. I'll holler at you next time on another video. Later.